Hello everybody, welcome to my SmackDown review for March 17th, 2023. SmackDown was a good show, so let's go over all of it that happened. Kicking off the show, we had the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. <sighs> Biggest stand in the middle. Alright, yep. Cody Rhodes came out, and he was talking about Roman. He has respect, but he will beat Roman. Oh my god. Oh my god. But he will beat Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Then he says some of, asks for someone to come out, and he asks Kevin Owens. So Kevin Owens comes out. And then, but he's not done yet. He asks for someone else, and I think we all know who that someone else is. Sammy! So all of the three of these men are out here, and they, ha they have a chit-chat. Cody wants to get these two together, but, well, Kevin Owens does not want to be with Sammy, and KO just dips. And, well, that's how the segment ended. They they were all talking. It was a good segment. Kevin Owens does not want to be with Sammy. Let's see how that happens later in the show. Next, we had Dominic Mysterio and Rhea Ripley versus Santos Escobar and Zelina Vega in a mixed tag team match. Of course, Dominic and Rhea won the match, but it's what happened after the match that was interesting. So Dominic basically called out Rey Mysterio, and well, Rey Mysterio came out to confront Dominic. He's basically saying the same thing. Rey was like, "If a little punk ass kid tries me to WrestleMania, I'll beat his ass." But you're my son, so I can't. Still, kind of the same thing. But the crowd was hyped. They were like, "Beat his ass, beat his ass." But he does not want to fight him at WrestleMania. But this needs to happen. Then Wade Barrett on commentary announced two matches for WrestleMania. We're gonna have Fatal Four Way showcase matches. They didn't show they didn't say it was for titles or anything. There's Fatal Four Way to get people on the card. Fatal Four Way tag team matches. So for women's and men. So we had a women's qualifier. We had Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan taking on Emma and Tegan Knox. Of course, they're not gonna have Liv and Raquel off WrestleMania. So we're having Raquel and Liv Morgan were the first ones to qualify, beating Knox and Emma. Uh I don't know. This is, they just said showcase. It's just like people on the card and nothing really special. But I do really like that they're trying to get everybody on the card. Then Charlotte Flair came out to talk about his her match at WrestleMania against Rhea Ripley. Then out came Rhea Ripley and Dominic. Because, you know, Dominic's always got to be there. Dom, I could put Dominic in the corner right there. Out came Rhea and Dom. Rhea says she needs to win and she will win at WrestleMania. And then Dom was like, yeah, when mommy beats you. And then... Rhea hits Charlotte Flair, slaps her, and leaves. And then they do an all-out brawl. Oh, my God. It was like a five-minute brawl. They beat the hell out of each other. Dominic was there. Hey, hey, hey. Just don't hurt Rhea. But, God damn, they beat the absolute shit out of each other. Then we had Xavier Woods versus LA Knight. I love LA Knight, but they really need to have something LA Knight to do at WrestleMania. It's in Los Angeles and LA WrestleMania. You can't have an LA WrestleMania for LA Knight. And Xavier Woods won't have a roll-up. Uh, come on. Come on, guys. LA Knight needs to be at WrestleMania. Not, we can't be losing to Xavier Woods with a back woods, which is a roll-up. Then backstage, LA Knight went to Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio was signing autographs. He was like, Rey, hey, I can fa face Dom at WrestleMania and give him an LA moment. I can be the goal like that beat dad. And then Rey smacks uh, LA Knight. And we're going to have Rey Mysterio versus LA Knight on SmackDown next week. Then we had Sheamus versus Drew McIntyre. And the winner faces Gunter for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania. And of course, it was one hell of a banger. It was a banger. Oh my god, it was a great match. Of course it was. Sheamus for Drew McIntyre. How can this not be a banger of a match? Then Sheamus and McIntyre hit a bro kick and Claymore at the same time to each other. And Gunter was telling the ref, hey, what, what is happening? He went in the ring and looked at Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. And he asked, who's it going to be? Then Imperium beat the hell out of Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. But now it is official. Finally, at WrestleMania... I'll set these guys up. It's going to be Sheamus versus Gunter versus McIntyre in a triple threat match at WrestleMania. Talking about bangers. Holy shit. This is going to be a banger. Then in the main event, we had Jey Uso and Sami Zayn going face to face. Jey Uso didn't get the same thing and Sami Zayn came out. And they were just going, talking back and forth, back and forth. And then Jey Uso finally threw punches. Jey Uso finally threw punches, but then out came Jimmy Uso, and Jimmy and Sammy were being, Jimmy and Jay were being the hell out of Sami Zayn. Eventually, they were too much, and Sammy went down, and then we heard Kevin Owens' music, and 
and he came from behind, and he and he hit both of them. He hit Jimmy Stunner, Jay Papa Powerbomb. There goes both of them. Then KO and Sammy Hog, Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn hugged it out. The crowd was chanting "Hug it out" the whole night, and they finally did. We also they also show Cody backstage. He was happy backstage. What a moment. I was super excited when they hugged. Make this match official. KO and Sammy versus the Usos at WrestleMania. That was my SmackDown review for March 17th, 2023. If you guys want to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see y'all in the next one.